Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, we're another busy week in progress. Uh, I'm just on with applying a bit of liquid fur, finishing off the spring barley and uh, plenty of spraying to do. Um, yeah, over the weekend um, we belong to uh, Bird's Eye Growing Group and we grow vine and peas and uh, they came to visit us. So there's uh, some footage of them drilling uh, the first drillings of peas on our land and uh, then we're drilling some more later on this week. So yeah, there's some footage of that. And um, yeah, as I said last week, we digger had some new tracks fitted to it. So yeah, I'll be showing that and anything else what's uh, been going on during the week. So yep, yeah, enjoy. Well, the digger's looking a bit sorry for itself this morning. It's having some new tracks fitted and it'll look smart. New tracks have arrived. Look at them. They look smart then. Done, thank you very much. Pavel plant looks a beast now with them on. Walk on water. Just making the most of a beautiful evening. We're uh, putting uh, T1s on the uh, winter barley and uh, Conditions are really well. It's going really well.
Yeah, you can see the Humber Bridge towers in the background and the water, the Humber. And then as you go around, you've got the uh, edge of Lincolnshire walls there. We uh, spin around here. Yep, we've got the wind turbines. Nice backdrop as the sun starts to go down. We've got a nice spray pattern there. Yep. Going really well today. Had a good day. Just on with the uh, Work in the headlands for the P drill. We've got bird's eye P drill here, drilling our first field. I've been let loose with Derek's Challenger, the Culti Press. So, did excuse the wiggles. I'm trying to steer in this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's dried enough and yeah, it's going well. <laughs> Yesterday dried well, but uh, there's some rain coming, so it's not good. These are grown for bird's eye, these peas, and they run their own pea drills. And uh, they're a Herio drill, or well, this one is, and uh, precision drills. They only drill at a set speed, well, sort of, no more than uh, three and a half, four mile an hour. Yeah, the pea seed. One, one there, there, and there. They're uh, planted well into moist, into firm, so we'll be chitting them, growing. Our drum mounted tank with uh, paddles on the front just to level it. The tank supported on the press wheels. All jeweled up. will be good, which you'll see when I uh, spray them or when they come up the video. Well, here we are with, uh, on the front of the drill with a set of paddles, we have set of two rows of spring tines, then we have a rubber packer followed by a loosening coulter, what loosens the ground in front of the actual uh, seeding coulter. And then the seeding coulter behind it has a steel press wheel what presses the seed into the bottom of the furrow and uh, behind that there's a rubber wheel just to finish off the job firming it down and a set of uh, arrows on the back. This is a seed metering unit, it's called a carousel and uh, that whole belt there sucks the seed onto it uh, and it, the seed is fed through that big hole in the middle out and then suction forces it onto them into them holes and then that little uh, notch to the left there that knocks any double ones off make sure there's only one pea seed per hole and then uh, as it goes round the air is cut off and the seed drops down and is blown to the coulters just come to Elsham to put a bit of uh, liquid nitrogen on uh, some of them fields what was um, rape and then we re-drilled them with spring barley I'm just in the one what the uh, Sky Direct drill did at the minute and uh, it's just emerging. There you are, you can just see it coming through the rows. Not every row's emerged, but uh, it's coming. So's the weeds. So, yeah, it's growing at the minute. This is where the Vadastad drilled a bit at the top end of this particular field. Uh, it's it's just poking through, not in rows, but uh, you can, uh, where I find it, there we go, a bit there, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's coming, it'll not be long, another couple of days and you'll see it in rows. And I think, yeah, the combi drill, he drilled the headlands, and it's further through, so maybe not drilled quite as deep, but uh, yeah. 
it's coming well. Let's get off the, the overlap. When I get down to it, there you are. You can see it. It's a little bit further on. I don't know if you can remember in the video what I shot when we were drilling this field. I showed you the drill coming up the headland tram line and uh, how hard it was and that was that wet hole to one side but actually the barley it's drilled it into that tram line what was rock solid we didn't rip it up get down to it and as you can see you can see drill rows so that just shows how effective they are at putting it into hard ground these direct drills surprise me that has and this is on that hillside where there's a fairy side slope in actual fact you can nearly where is it yeah i know it's uneven you have to rail but yeah you can see two or three rows there right the way through where it's firmer in a wheeling yeah to be honest i'm quite impressed with that it'll be interesting to come back in another week or two's time and uh, have a look at it again and see what it's like well that's it for this week's edition of video diary on the farm hope you've enjoyed it and as usual if you have please hit that like share and subscribe button remember it's free to subscribe and uh, thank you for watching see you next time